On the backside of the July 4th holiday, some employers say they're still struggling finding people to come to work. Some are seeing some improvements, others are still searching for people to step inside the door. At Roosters, finding workers has been hard, getting them to stay seemingly harder. You get one person in here and then they stay for a week and then they're gone. And Much the same at Homewood Suites, where General Manager Lewis Formby says he's had to resort to cleaning rooms himself because he can't keep house cleaning staff. There have been challenges. There's been hiring people and then getting them in here, getting them trained, and then poof, they turn into smoke and disappear. It is an employment pitfall for businesses who believe some workers are trying to make it look like they're trying to work to keep getting unemployment benefits. June 12th, Governor Tate Reeves opted the state out of the federal unemployment stipend of $300 a week because the state has jobs, but people were not stepping up to fill them. A dilemma that has impacted the trucking industry. I've been in this business 34 years. I've never seen it more critical than it is now. Uh, you know, the stimulus checks that have come out have really affected the driver's supply. And that demand for workers is still there weeks after the state opted out of that federal program. Restaurant operators like Nathan Glenn say they're still struggling to hire and keep workers. Yeah, we've started to see some employees coming back. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit easier, you know, but you still hear the horror stories. But yeah, and then you get the ones that come in for an application, you know, they'll and then they don't even show back up. But businesses like Homewood Suites says the state is beginning to follow up with people who claim they were not able to get a job at businesses like this, starting the process of investigating whether people really do deserve those unemployment benefits. In Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.